Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm continuing to look at the um, Raspberry Pi Model 5 uh, using software and doing projects under Bookworm. So um, previously I've described what the Model 5 looks like, and um, I've also looked at um, comparing it with uh, previous versions. So uh, let's have a look at um, the benchmarks on that. So we can see the Model 5 has uh, significantly improved performance. And um, with the uh, addition of um, new ports, it can do much better. Okay, so we'll have a look at the projects. These are all the projects I've been working on. Uh, and today I'm going to focus on um, the first of the Pi uh, Moroni hats, and it's called the Automation Hat. I'll also do their Explorer Hat. So uh, the purpose of this is to see if uh, these uh, hats still work with the Model 5 and with Bookworm. So uh, just we'll have a look at my desktop arrangement. I've got... Um, here, the um, automation hat sitting on top of a Raspberry uh, Pi Model 5. And in the middle, I've got a um, uh, M.2 hat uh, with a SSD uh, driver on it. And uh, I'm doing only doing some uh, commissioning tests. And to do that, I'm using uh, push buttons. Uh, potentiometer and uh, lights so uh, my overall objective is to uh, test the automation hat with raspberry pi 5 with bookworm i'm going to connect it to the traffic signals and i'm going to test two lots of software python with a virtual environment and also node red but I don't hold a lot out for Node Red, uh, Node Red because a lot of the uh, nodes have not been updated for a few years. So where would you use this node? Well, um, there's a very interesting project that uh, was br uh, brought out by Microsoft and the hardware was developed by Seed Studio called FarmBeats. And uh, you could use it uh, for irrigation and garden work like this one so the top one shows the automation hat uh, with um, the m5 stack watering unit controlling three individual areas for water control in the garden but you could also use this in more uh, serious applications where you've got 12 volt pumps and here i've got the um, soil moisture detectors for three uh, sites and three water pumps and solar power is driving these uh, so let's have a look at the software and the hardware that i'm using so i'm using model five uh, the automation hat now what's interesting about the automation hat that it has some um, digital and analog inputs three of each and the interesting part is that it supports voltages up to 24 volts uh, without having to do any other translation yourself and similarly with the outputs uh, you can um, use either the analog output or the digital and the digital uh, has some um, relays again up to 24 volts and two amps uh, per relay circuit on the output and again for both uh, analog and digital outputs there are three ports for each of those and there's very convenient connections for the UART uh, so you could use um, other microcontrollers uh, to your um, Raspberry Pi using that UART interface so uh, this, here's a, a bit of a look at it. And this um, image comes from the uh, uh, Pi Moroni site. 
and it explains the operation um, of those uh, interfaces. So for traffic signals, I'm going to use the um, Kitronic traffic lights. Now, while these were designed for the micro bit, I'm um, going to uh, interface it to the uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm still going to use Grove, but I'm only going to use Grove on the I to C interface. And um, I'm going to explore if these work. Uh, and I'll be using Grove connections. The interesting one here is the BME 680, and it will go directly to the Raspberry Pi I to C uh, GPIO pins. So uh, we're going to have a look at the connections. Uh, my connections for uh, the uh, traffic signals, uh, I'll be using 5 volts. So I'll be picking up the 5 volts to send that off to the Grove uh, interface and also to the traffic lights. And for the uh, BME 680, I'll be using uh, this connection on the uh, edge connector for um, for that device. And when I hook it all up and do a, a scan, I can see the automation hats on um, he hexadecimal 48 and the BMEs on hexadecimal 76. So for software-wise, I'm going to look at uh, Python and Node-RED. So I had a lot of success with Python. Uh, a little bit of failure, but that failure is probably due to the fact that I'm not that experienced with using virtual environments. But Node-RED, hardly anything worked. Uh, if you use a, a bash script, uh, you may be able to get a couple of things to work. So uh, let's have a look at um, uh, the projects that I'm working on. Um, so um, I'm using the automation hat. And um, with this... Uh, device, I'm uh, setting up the um, virtual environments using the um, commands that uh, Pi Moroni issue. And they all worked on the standard. So if you look at um, uh, some of these, so uh, here we're looking at um, the output um, example. And um, I can get uh, that to work quite nicely. Together with all the examples that um, they give, all work. Um, my own uh, project on traffic signals, uh, we might go across and have a look at that working um, in a minute. So I'll bring across the um, VNC uh, window on my um, Windows computer, and um, I'm going to start up Node Red, and I'm also going to um, issue some of these commands. So uh, to get all this working, the first thing I've got to do is activate the uh, virtual environment. So I'm going to copy that and bring it across. Uh, so what we're going to do now is, um, oh, we've got uh, node, node red working there, and I'm going to paste in and activate the virtual, um, here we are, we've got um, the Pi Moroni um, lead for my um, location. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, Paste that in. And finally, I'm going to um, make it work. So uh, I'll just go here and um, copy. Uh, 
and we'll paste that in now. So we've now got the traffic signals working. And stay tuned, and I'll show you later a, um, a demo on the desktop of that. Okay, so we'll go back to uh, the mind map now. And uh, we'll just see um, what's happening with the BME. Now, with the BME 680, while I'm using a Seed Studio device, I'm using all the software from Pi uh, Moroni. And um, what I've got here is um, a similar way to activate it and to uh, go to the um, device. So we might actually do that one also. So we'll um, get a copy of that. And we're going to stop the traffic signals. And what we'll do is um, paste that, that in and we'll go to a different directory. So we'll go back to our mind map and we'll get hold of the um, path. So we'll um, pick up this command, get a copy of it, and we'll go back to um, the Raspberry Pi and we'll paste that in. Ah, now we've got it working. So you can see the temperature on the uh, far left. In the middle, we've got pressure and we've got humidity on the right. Okay, so uh, we've got all that to work with a um, Seed Studio Grow BME 680. So um, how did it go with um, other devices? Okay, so um, we didn't have any success with Node Red using the standard nodes for the um, uh, automation hack. So none of those worked at all. Uh, and you can see uh, the flows, the versions. Those versions are actually quite old now, and they're not supported. My flow was very simple, but it uh, didn't work. And um, using the bash file, the only one that really worked was the top one. So uh, what I'm doing there is to um, uh, set up a bash command that just activates a script uh, that includes a um, Py, uh, Python 3 script. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the results. So overall, I tested the automation hat on uh, Raspberry Pi Model 5 and Bookworm. I tested it with traffic lights and the test software. Um, very little work with Node Red, but almost everything works with Python, including the um, the BME 680. Um, and it all works in a, a virtual environment. Okay, so I still have to check the compatibility with other issues, but I have checked it with at least one other device there. And it also works on the analog port uh, with the um, uh, automation hat. Okay, some of the issues. There are some do undocumented features, but you can work these out yourself quite easily. Um, and all they are, that is the... Um, the power, the, the comms, and the warning light, uh, they're just status lights that you have to program yourself. And I found the last um, command there a bit unusual. That's, um, it prints out um, four values, but there's nothing documented on uh, what those values are. Okay, so um, if you're interested in looking at the device, the node red is there. Um, the Pi uh, Moroni uh, for both the automation hat and also for, they have a BME 680 and they, they developed all the scripts that I uh, demonstrated today.
Uh, but um, I did use the um, equivalent Grove BME 680, and that worked with the uh, Pi Moroni scripts. Okay, so um, stay tuned, and I'll give you a desktop uh, demonstration. In this arrangement, we have the Raspberry Pi Model 5 on the bottom layer, but right on the top we have the um, automation hat from Pre Morona. And um, it's driving traffic signals. So uh, these traffic signals um, actually come from um, Kitronics and were intended for the um, microbit computer. But I've got them wired up here on these edge connectors to um, the automation hat. And um, instead of using a 5 volt from the um, automation hat, it could be a 12 volt to a solar panel. So this is quite flexible and um, it will tolerate uh, in and outputs up to um, 24 volts. So it's a true industrial automation hat. And um, we have an analog input, which is um, on this yellow cable. So I've just taken it out at the moment. And uh, it goes to um, a potentiometer. So um, the uh, potentiometer is operating at 5 volts. And I've also got a BME 680 to look at the compatibility of the automation hat uh, with um, other modules, other sensing modules. Uh, so instead of having lights, we could have pumps and this could go into the garden. And this is the uh, automation hat from Pi Moroni.